Okay, we are going to begin our service in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Skybar, the man is, um, I think, so he's so hello everyone welcome back and thank you for clicking on here if you're new here welcome so this is not my first time of visiting this orphanage this is actually my second time and the first time i was brought here by the same person that brought me here today today he's here to the owners of the orphanage telling them making known his intention to employ the kids that are above the age of 18 because he was told that at the age of 18 you are expected to leave the orphanage and some of the kids do not really have families that they can return to those that have families that they can return to you know the struggle because they've been away for a very long time so going back home becomes like a struggle for them and uh, some of them there's no hope of going to uh, to further their education so he wants to employ anyone that leaves the orphanage so he want to employ them give them accommodation give them um food basic needs clothing items and then pay them monthly hope that you stay tuned on this video and of course do not forget to reach out to the orphanage i'm going to pin their contact link at the comment section so if you have any contribution you want to make for them you want to visit them you want to send them monetary gift you want to send them clothing items or you want to volunteer to send a kid or two to school anything you want to give to them i'm going to leave the link i mean the i'm going to pin their contact at the description or the comment section so reach out to them today and god will bless you thank you here again for another unique visit to the orphanage here in Kaswa at the central region of Ghana. So I talked about this orphanage in one of my videos when we visited there and then I made a video which the video turned out to be impactful to them. I am super duper excited for that. At least something, you know, they get reached out by people who see my video. Some people ask me for their contacts, which I have been given and they have been reaching out. So that is good. So today we are here because Kevin wants to make two donations today. The, the other time we came here, he asked what becomes of these children when they leave the orphanage. And he wanted to know the age that the age limit, you, you know, before you leave this place. And then we were told that at the age of 18, you are supposed to go back to your biological family and reunite with them. But majority of these kids you're looking at here do not have their mothers alive. And that makes it very difficult to reunite with people outside because you don't really know these people. You know, you've lived your life here all your life here. So what Kevin wants to do is from here, once you turn 18, he, he gets you employed to come work at his farm. To get it, to come work at his farm. And then from there, you... It gives you accommodation rights, okay? He pays for their accommodation, for their food, and pays them well. When he talked about the salary, we, the adults, were screaming, we need that job. <laughs> we need that job. Okay, so 
um th when they stay there they save the money that is paying them after some time what happens is every weekend they are not working so that weekend it encourages them to use that weekend to see how they can reunite with their families their biological families for those who wants to reunite and then those who are not interested in reuniting with their biological families can always come back to the orphanage here where they have known all their life you know to come visit and then work days during the weekdays they return back to work until they are able to save enough money from their salary use it to either go back to school like go to uni or use it to start a trade or use it to learn something yeah so he wants to prepare them for the adulthood that is why we came that is number one the number two reason we are here today is you want to make another donations there's this poultry uh poultry farm they used to have a chicken poultry here in the orphanage which i'm going to show you at the end of the video so something happened and then they didn't continue with the reign of the chickens again so kevin wants to bring that back because every saturday he sends eggs to them he comes here or not he sends eggs to them and he pays there's a woman that supply them eggs they cook and bring the eggs for them so what he want to do is he no longer want to continue paying the woman to do that so what he want to do is build it rebuild it back for them put layers there so they can lay eggs for them they don't have to go outside to buy eggs for any reason anytime they need to use eggs they want to eat egg. anything they want to do with eggs they can easily get it from there it's all there so that is why we are here again today and then the lady you've been seeing around carving is his business partner and a very good friend of Calvin. She's also an American living in Ghana, married to a Ghanaian. I'm going to tag her on this video. So guys, check her out and show your support, okay? She's very nice and impactful and they just started their own channel. So go there and see their videos, subscribe to their channel. And before I forget, Calvin also has a channel. I'm going to tag them, okay? So don't forget to check them out. If they get 18 and they have to find a new place to live or are they allowed to still stay to get some help so with that of uh, turning 18 what Calvin is saying is that he's offering that opportunity for them and it's regardless if they can't stay or can stay they have that option to come and work for him and live on his facility now the the facility to stay is for the working days but what he also wants to do is build a building for these these young kids to stay 
so they don't have to try to transport back and forth from Shy Hills to here. So they can still be close to their job, still have a place to stay, make some money, and save. And I'm going to add, mm -hmm. the, 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 the children coming to the farm, you, you will be working, but at a, a minimum you're making a thousand CDs a month. Wow. It's not free. We're not going to work you for free. And so with, with that, they're living for free. They're eating for free. free. They're not paying no electricity. So they can take that thousand CDs a month. Put it in their pocket. Put it in a savings. And hopefully that we can get to the point where we can, later. hopefully we can get to a point where we can get them a bank account. They can learn to be responsible for their own money. They can save their money. And then who knows, after a couple years or however long it would take for them to save and get their own stuff. You know, they might want to invest and start their own business. What comes of that? Nothing but success. Am I right? Right. So that is why we came. And me, my own is, please, on my behalf, donate for me because I cannot donate right now. All right? We know the story, right? So please, if there's anything you want to give out, if you can't reach them directly, contact Carvin. If you cannot contact Carvin, I'm available. Yes, boss, send me. Okay? And I will deliver and I'll film it and bring the video back send it to you in private or post it publicly or uh, as well i'm going to pin their link how you can reach them their whatsapp number at the comment section of this video so do where to check them out and show support all right it takes the whole village to reach, raise a child right so this one it takes the entire world for us to raise them all right nothing is too small they need money for electricity be they need money for water they need money for a lot of things so do not forget to donate today all right thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next one keep on watching Больше нет снега Я тебя ждал У весна Птицы поют Душа Расцветает Солнце что На черном море Твоя тебе Это мой день